Hi there, this is Ross at Woodfire Power, and this video is going to show you a quick, cheap fix for keeping your plants in your greenhouse from freezing overnight on an unusual cold snap. So the temperature outside is dropping down into like 7 degrees Fahrenheit to maybe 15 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit for the last three nights, and tonight's going to be another cold one. Um, two nights ago, I almost lost the entire crop. I thought I had. Um, but miraculously, when the sun came back up, they all stood back up because all of these plants were laying over looking like they'd been frozen and died. So last night, I put in a little propane torch, which you can probably hear going on in the background right now. And that almost kept up with it using the smallest flamethrower that came with the little torch kit. So for tonight I put on the largest flamethrower and let me go over and show you how that worked. Um, last night when I was checking the temperatures the water's flowing in through that white pipe up to the media table there on the left and then the media table is a flood drain table and it drains out of this end, out of that hole, and out of this hole. And I could actually measure a 3 to 4 degree Fahrenheit temperature rise from the temperature of the water coming into the pipe versus the temperature coming out. And that held pretty constant through the night. So tonight, um, I'm putting on a bigger flamethrower because this morning at 6 when I came back down, things were kind of okay at 2, but when I came down at 6, it hadn't kept up with it, and um, the plants again were all wilted. So I took the big flamethrower and I was walking up and down the aisle toasting the lettuce. Um, not literally, but waving the flamethrower weed burner wand back and forth about a foot away from the plants just to throw some hot air, warm air at them to wake them up and keep them from freezing to death. So there's the siphon triggering. And so let me show you the um, burner that I put together. did is I got a stainless steel bowl from the grocery store, bend it up a little bit, and then this flamethrower came with three size, size of cylinders, and by dialing this knob, I can adjust the flame up or down. thing just plugs right into a propane bottle so that it can run all night long. And what this is doing is throwing heat into the water itself by condensing the water vapor and the flame onto the waterfall surface and also throwing warmth into the greenhouse itself. Um, but all of the heat winds up in the greenhouse, part of it in the water, part of it in the air. So, um, oh, and the one little fix I did have to do is to wrap some aluminum foil around the PVC pipe inlet because it was getting a little bit hot. It wasn't burning or anything, but I just figured since I'm not going to be here the whole time, it was a little added safety. And with that, um, I was able to keep the temperature last night just barely above 32 inside the greenhouse. I was down into the 20s and teens outside. And the temperature rise in the water last night was about 4 degrees with a small cylinder and I'm hoping that I'm going to get a, a higher temperature rise out of this larger cylinder 
as well as more total heat put into the greenhouse so that things stay above freezing because the plants didn't look that great this morning at 6. And this is the flame that I was waving over the plants this morning to warm them back up and apparently it worked because they look like they are pretty much all still alive. So I think I've got one more cold night and then I should be out of the woods for a bit. A uh, little update, the seedling sprouting chamber's doing awesome. All these microgreens are growing up nicely and ready for the farmer's market on Saturday. These guys are especially awesome, uh, Cressida. So, there you go. I'm going to button this up and keep all these plants safe. If I lose the crop out here, at least I'll have a bunch of babies to replant the system with. But hopefully tonight there won't be anything lost yet again. Have a great week. This is Ross at Wood Firepower.